today's Friday, February 29th, 2008. It is a leap year, and we're back with another episode of Cal TV Sports Shorts. I'm Jolie. And I'm Jessica. And let's get things started. So I was just wondering, what do tennis, football, men's and women's basketball, and swimming all have in common? Um, how about the fact that none of them can beat Stanford? Men's basketball took on the Cardinal this past Sunday and lost 79-69. However, they were still able to maintain their spot as tied for seventh in the Pac-10. Men's tennis has fallen down to 500 with their 5-2 loss against Stanford. And in women's basketball, in a heartbreaking battle of bay, the Bears lost 60-58 at home. Alexis Gray Lawson had a chance to bring the Bears back to tie and go into overtime when they were down to like just two points in the last two seconds, but instead opted and missed the three. Uh, the Bears are still tied for number one in the Pac-10 with Stanford and are ninth in the nation. One team does seem to have it right, though, which would be Cal Men's Rugby, who's given us our player to watch for the week, senior flanker Rickus Pretorius. The team beat Utah last Saturday without any of their starters and have also won their first game out of the two-game series in the World Cup competition versus British Columbia. It was their closest game, but they still won by 18 points. Their next game will be March 1st against New Mexico. I actually had a chance to catch up with Rickus earlier in the week, so let's check that out. So how did you first get started in rugby? Uh, I started playing rugby um, probably around the age of five. Um, I was, I'm originally from South Africa, so I started playing rugby at the age of five. Um, played on my first team when I was about six years old. I mean, it's a pretty big sport down there. Um, you know, if you're a boy, you're playing, so um, you, know, you start pretty young. You guys pretty much every season completely dominate. Do you, when you start the season knowing that, you know, going undefeated the entire season is a real possibility, does that change your mentality or do you guys play game by game? How do you um, I think I think the only way you can actually you know reach that type of uh, that type of you know level of play all the time is if you don't think about it as you know undefeated season. You think about it as you know game by game, and uh, you also don't think about it as you know defending something. You think about it as proving something every time you go out and play. So I think uh, you know mentality on our team is just you know it's got to do with hard work and it's got to do with reaching our potential. And uh, you know regardless of what the scoreline says, just you know our level of play on the field really determines how happy we are with our performance. Do you think your toughest opponent is going to be or has been this season? I've got to, I've got to say British Columbia. I no thought it would be on back. Um, you know, it was a very tough game and they were, you know, good opponents. But it turned out to be uh, UBC, as, as you know, I think a lot of the guys expected. And we've got another game against them. And I'm, I'm quite sure that game is going to be quite tough as well. So, um, you yeah, know, I'd have to vote UBC at this point. Well, that was a great interview. Rugby definitely is looking pretty solid this year. But that's all the time we have for today. So be sure to check back in with Cal TV to get your download on What's Up in Cal Sports.